Thank you. So I will uh, talk about uh, uh, Kirigami, mostly um, about uh, uh, design of uh, applications um, done uh, with Kirigami and why uh, we did it. So uh, nowadays on a um, standard Plasma desktop, uh, most, uh, most of the applications that you run are uh, still uh, done with key widgets like they were done in the uh, past 20 years. Why? One, because uh, uh, that used to, so there is a lot of legacy, and two, uh, because uh, key widget is uh, nowadays still uh, the best tool for uh, um, some kind of uh, some, some kind of, of of jobs for very complex applications, you still probably um, want to use that. Uh, but since it's uh, non technology, of course, it has uh, um, uh, many li limitations graphically. Uh, what you uh, can do in the main Chrome of your application, it's pretty limited unless uh, you do uh, very complex uh, spaghetti C++ code. Uh, and, that's, and that's, of course, bad because it limits what you can do. But on the other, sen o on the other end, it's kind of good because with these limitations, it kind of enforces a, um, a coherence uh, between uh, uh, all the different applications that then uh, uh, comprise the, the user experience of a Plasma desktop. But this is uh, uh, going to change. Um, now most of the uh, efforts in the uh, UI side uh, from the Qt company is uh, um, towards uh, uh, QML um, that is still, uh, is still uh, kind, of, uh, kind of young, it's still has its own different set of limitations. Um, for instance, everybody that tried to have um, uh, keyboard navigation on, on an application just, just work out of the box knows what I'm talking about. But um, on the purely graphical side, um, you pretty much don't have limitation. You can do everything you want, and that's, of course, uh, uh, excellent, very, very good for creativity, but uh, if uh, we don't have a, a very coherent and even strict um, um, design process uh, that could be, in the end, bad for the end user experience because it would, uh, it would uh, uh, bring many applications that are done with uh, uh, conflicting uh, uh, user patterns, so we um, ended up uh, uh, thinking about uh, both a, a, a design language, a set of uh, human interface guidelines, and a framework with the same name, with the uh, uh, name the uh, uh, Kirigami, to um, have a um, pre uh, a, a pre-made set of uh, solutions for very, uh, very basic uh, usage patterns that should be ideally across most of our applications, uh, both on, uh, on desktop systems and on uh, Plasma Mobile with, uh, um, with slight adaptations for, of course, the, uh, the input and screen differences that are between a a desktop and a mobile system. It had already several standalone releases, but since from the uh, next uh, framework release in August, it will be um, released together all of the KD frameworks uh, pack. Uh, so this exists uh, because uh, designing a full feature application uh, is uh, ev even both for the developer but also for the designer it's a very uh, massive task and uh, it's uh, very easy to do um, to do weird things I'm not saying wrong but but things that in the end uh, will um, 
will not really do user a favor. Uh, what can happen, we can just look at history. Uh, on a, a certain proprietary uh, platform where in the past 20, 30 years, many applications were completely their, their own thing. Um, they looked like uh, their own toolkit, their own operating system almost, and I think that was actually a part of the whole Windows is bad and Windows is ugly. So we have potentiality for doing beautiful things. We have risks of repeating a tiny bit of that history, so let's not do that. Um, to have a um, weird parallel, um, a technique in writing, actually writing book, is to uh, limit your own lexicon in order to have a text structure that flows more. And what we are doing, we adding this artificial limitation that it's um, completely opt-in, um, of course, to um, to make design a, a less of a massive task because uh, all of the um, problems of the base patterns are already solved. And to put in a really cheesy way, in order to think outside the box, you need a box in the first place. Basically, we are doing the box. Then, then you can smash if you want. Um, to conclude with a very fast example, uh, Coco is a um, very simple uh, image viewer written in QML that was written some years ago, then was uh, um, stand abandoned for a, for a while, now has been, um, has been uh, resurrected as part of a Summer of Code project uh, by Atul Sharma, which I'm mentoring this year. And uh, uh, this is how it looked, that it was absolutely fine, but it had, uh, it had some problems and it never really had a designer input. So we uh, went with, um, um, with Jens and the rest of the VDG to uh, look about what the alternatives uh, um, could be in order to make it as simple as possible and really a textbook uh, uh, case for Kirigami. So in the end we ended up with uh, uh, some uh, wireframes uh, for how it could uh, work and behave for wo both the mobile case and the uh, desktop use case. This is how it looks nowadays. It's, um, it's still really a very early uh, work in progress so there are still several obvious missing pieces and, and layout problems, but it's getting there. Um, on, the, on the left is how it looks on uh, Plasma Desktop with um, uh, the Breeze style, um, also with uh, our experimental uh, Qt Quick Controls 2 style that will uh, paint everything like it's Breeze that will be released with the next Plasma uh, Desktop release. And on the right is how it uh, will look on Plasma Mobile. Uh, last thing, the, uh, for Kirigami, our first main uh, target is uh, uh, Plasma Desktop, then Plasma Mobile, with the nice side uh, effect that uh, also works pretty well uh, on Android as well, though it's... Um, even if it's not our primary platform, we care as much as possible uh, to respect the look of the of the platform, the look of the design, not so much the feel, um, because being our primary uh, target, Plasma Mobile, we want to innovate in uh, uh, some areas that uh, we think that current uh, mobile applications are not... Uh, uh, very good because they inherit too much um, from from uh, legacy. For uh, for instance, uh, most both on iPhone and Android are very top heavy UIs that make it quite hard to use them on um, on nowadays big oversized phones. So we can do a bit better in that. But apart from that, it will look as at home as possible. 
and thank you very much